Britain's first ever serial killer, Mary Ann Cotton, also referred to as the Dark Angel, was born on Halloween of 1832 in Durham County, England. Throughout her mere 41 years on Earth, Cotton had allegedly poisoned more than 21 people, 15 of which happened to be members of her own family. Between 1852 and 1870, Cotton remarried about four times, and each marriage ended the same way. It all started when she was 20 years old, and she first married William Mowbray, and together the couple had nine children. By 1864, only 12 years later, Mowbray and nearly all of her children had died from supposed gastric fever, a disease which shares many common symptoms with arsenic poisoning. Arsenic is a chemical found in groundwater all over the world and is fatal if inhaled or ingested in large amounts. Cotton murdered her victims by adding the arsenic to cups of tea. Once all of her children and her husband had successfully died, Cotton collected the insurance money and moved a few streets over where she found and married her second husband. History ended up repeating itself as her new husband and his two children wound up dead from the same reasons as before. Not only did Cotton poison her husbands and her children, her own mother was a victim as well. After repeating this cycle with two more families, Marianne was finally arrested and charged with the murder of her stepson, Charles Edward Cotton, who was only seven years old. The defense in the case tried to argue that all victims had died from inhaling the arsenic via the wallpaper, but Cotton was ultimately found guilty and was sentenced to death by hanging in 1873. Mary Ann Cotton can be classified as a mission-oriented serial killer, as her main goal was to kill and collect as much insurance money as possible. Although she was convicted, she never verbally confessed, so it's difficult to say exactly how many people were actually harmed by Cotton's actions.